Hello, today we're going to work on lesson 27 and we're going to first look at solid shapes and fill in the blank. So let's look at number one. We need to first find these square faces and if you look at this shape, we have cube. So if we could look on the other side, it would look like this. And we have one side on the front and one side on the right and one side on the left one side on the top one side on the bottom and lastly another side on the back so in total we have six square faces let's look at number two for number two we need to find rectangular faces and we now have rectangular prism so we have one surface on the front, one on the back, one on the right side, one on the left side, and lastly, one on the top. Oh, sorry. And also, there is one on the bottom. So we have six again. Let's look at number. Three. There are one side here and one side here and one side on the back. And another side is on the right side of the back. And lastly, another surface is on the bottom side of the shape. So in total, there are four rectangular face uh sorry four triangular faces and one square face let's look at number five it says which shape has six rectangular faces so um, it shows that rect rectangular prism has six rectangular faces so rectangular is the answer for number five let's look at number six which shape has four triangular faces so it shows that square pyramid has four triangular faces square pyramid is the answer for number six. Let's move on to the next page. So for this part, we have three digit numbers and we need to use addition to find the total. Let's look at number one. We need to first add the numbers that are on the ones place and on the tens place and so on. So three plus one is four. 0 plus 2 is 2, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So 124 is the answer for number 1. Let's look at number 2. 0 plus 7 is 7, and 9 plus 3 is 12. So 127 is the answer for number 2. Let's look at number 5. 0 plus 9 is 9, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 5 plus 0 is 5. So 539 is the answer for number 5. Let's move on to number 8. 5 plus 5 is 10. So we need to raise 0 on the 1's place and 1 on the top because it is on the 10's place. So 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2. And 3 plus 0 is 3. So, 320 is the answer for number 8. Let's look at number 10. 4 plus 8 is 12. And 1 plus 2 is 3. And 3 plus 7 is 10. And lastly, 1 plus 7 is 8. So, 802 is the answer for number 10. Let's move on to the next page. 
for this part we have line plot and we need to use the tally chart to create the correct line plot then we need to answer the questions so let's look at number one for one we have one two and three so we need to put three X's on the top of number one. And for the second number, we need to add these two and these represent five and there are one, two. So five plus two is seven. So we need to put seven X's above number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, let's look at three. There are five, and there are one, two, and three. So five plus three is eight. We need to put eight X's, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and lastly, we have five above number four. One, two, three, four, five. Let's look at number two. How many cookies were sold on the first day? So it shows that three cookies were sold on the first day, so three is the answer for number one. Let's look at number three. Oh, sorry. It was three was the answer for number two. So um, let's look at number three. How many cookies were sold on the second day? On the second day it shows that seven cookies were sold. So seven is the answer for number three. Let's move on to the next page. For this page, we have word problems. Let's look at number one. It says, there are 12 caterpillars. Nine of them turned into butterflies. How many caterpillars are left? So to find out how many are left, we need to subtract nine from 12. Twelve minus nine is three. So three caterpillars this is the answer for number one thank you